Hey guys and welcome to another video. I've been meaning to make a video about this for a few days now and now I finally have the time. If you haven't been living inside of a desk drawer, then you would know about the coronavirus. Or as cool people say, COVID-19. Everybody and their mom is worried about it and they have a right to because it's spreading all over the world and it can literally kill you if you're one that's vulnerable to it. It's crazy to think that the game Plague Inc. has become an actual reality. Some of you may want to hear my stance on the whole crisis, so here you go. I think the Illuminati created this as a part of their plan to take over the world while no one's looking. After nearly a month of being quarantined, we found a way around the boredom, and that was to foster a dog. So now I'll tell you the story of him after I show you what he looks like. Where are you? And I'm so sorry. I cannot sleep. I cannot dream tonight. I need somebody and always This sick strange darkness Comes creeping on so haunting every time And as I stared I counted The webs from all the spiders Catching things and eating their insides Like indecision to call you And hear your voice of trees on Will you come home and stop this pain tonight? So we all get in the car, we drive to like the other side of the earth it feels like, and we pick up the dog, oh his name is Baxton by the way, I don't know if I've mentioned that already. We drive back, it takes like 30 minutes, he's like panting in the car, like, you know, what dogs do. We get home, we're about to introduce uh, Baxton to all the other dogs, and we take the dogs out two by two outside while Baxton sits on the concrete, so we could just introduce them on neutral ground so the dogs don't feel protective like get out of my house so the first pair of dogs come out and like they all just start going off on each other okay i'll try to make a representation of what it sounded like <laughs> wait why did i even do that everybody knows what a dog sounds like he was a massive dog going up against a puny chihuahua that matchup to me seems like the big show going up against betty white it's just not happening. She's not going to win. Like, I'm sorry, Betty, but you're just not going to get this year's Slammy Award. The WWE is probably, like, one of the worst things, like, to ever be invented on this planet. I'm just saying. God, I'm getting way too off track. But anyway, uh, where were we? Oh, yeah, so we took them on a walk with the dogs, and they were, like, kind of weird because they didn't know each other, but they sniffed each other's bungus holes a few times and did a few circles around each other. And then finally, after a little while, they're like, I don't like you, but you're kind of chill. So we were mostly done worrying about our dogs getting mauled, but then our cat comes downstairs to say what's up, and Baxton does not like her. He starts going off and chases her through the house, and she's trying to run away, and there's like this little post thing on our stairs where the she can get through the railings, but since she was way too fat, she couldn't. I'll put up a picture right now so you can see. She jumped off the railing and then darted upstairs, and she hasn't even come down yet. Like, it's Friday, and that happened on Sunday. So after seeing that Baxton wasn't cat-friendly, we took her food and her water and put it upstairs so she could just live up there. So she's fine now. And that's it. That's the story. So if y'all are bored at home, just foster a dog and everything will be alright. Thank y'all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.